Rastenberry woman takes center stage at the Miss USA pageant. 25 year old Erin Brady was crowned Miss USA last night, and folks who knew her when say she brings more than beauty to the table. News ace Tina Detell tracked down some of her former teachers at Portland High and say they couldn't have been more thrilled about her big win. Wrong prince and princess. Yeah, she was wrong with the it comes as no surprise the girl who dreamed big has made it big. 25 year old Erin Brady crowned Miss USA Sunday night. Yeah, I went over and got my neighbors watching it too. It's safe to say Stu Nolte doesn't usually watch the pageant, but for Brady, he made an exception because, as we discovered here at Portland High, she was an exceptional student. She was. Uh, she was very uh, gracious about, about uh, thanking the teachers, too, which was really nice to hear from a student. She was absolutely a, a model student. Nice is a word that's overused, but not in Erin's case. She's the definition. She was beautiful. She was smart. She was kind. High marks for a small-town girl who left a mark on this high school. She was a great 800 meter runner, great 400 meter runner, but you know, just always a team player too. You know, any, any relay we need, ever needed her to run on, she always ran for us. She was also a talented singer, beautiful, but most of all these folks say genuine. There's a reason she won best personality and friendliest her senior year. She's certainly done very well, made Portland proud. As soon as Brady won Miss Connecticut, the article went up here in the teacher's room and they got ready for the big night. We were all at our various homes last night, screaming, cheering her on, genuine, natural, what you saw on the stage last night is very much Erin. She'll be busy over the next year, but they hope she'll still have time to stop by in Portland. Uh, she always used to come back to the graduations and stuff, so I'm sure she'll be back there again. Maybe she'll be asked to speak. I'm sure she probably will. <laughs> Tina Detell, News 8.